Hi all, uh, this video is all about the central portion of the plantar fascia, in particular the central band. I want to go through a few things, including how thick the plantar fascia is in this mid portion, uh, how much lengthening is achieved when the mid portion of the plantar fascia is cut transversely, I wanted to go through some general anatomy, and also the final post-operative outcomes of the mentioned plantar fasciotomy. From the picture you can see uh, there are some crosses and a line along that central band uh, indicating the area of most pain. We see that uh, when the first and lesser metatarsophalangeal joints are dorsiflexed that the plantar fascia becomes prominent and when these joints are relaxed um, obviously the plantar fascia is not under the same amount of tension. Uh, in this picture I've just um, highlighted the borders, approximate borders of the central band Medial to uh, the central band of the plantar fascia is the abductor hallucis muscle belly and in between them is the medial band of the plantar fascia. This medial band uh, ends up being continuous with the, uh, the superficial uh, fascia of the abductor hallucis. Having a look uh, at the foot at a different angle you can see the tension put on the plantar fascia um, and with that golden arrow uh, you can see the plantar fascial prominence. Um, it's important to note uh, that the plantar fascia in the midsection of the arch is not that thick. There are actually vertical fibers that attach the plantar fascia to the plantar skin. And we see that when uh, the plantar fascia is under tension, the skin also tightens up. And when uh, the plantar fascia is relaxed, the skin um, at the plantar foot is uh, quite supple. The flexor digitorum brevis muscle is also located directly under the plantar fascia. And you'll see from the surgical videos to come um, that the plantar fascia almost looks like a skin over the flexor digitorum brevis. It's reasonably thin. I reckon it's no more than half a millimeter thick and it just covers the uh, flexor digitorum brevis. Again, almost like a, a second skin. It's also important to note that the plantar fascia is relatively inelastic um, with approximately 4% of maximum elongation. Uh, we'll be able to see from the surgical videos to come that when uh, the plantar fascia um, is uh, cut that approximately uh, a one centimeter uh, gap is formed between the proximal and uh, distal portions. Can you see that, Ritz? Can you see the plant picture there? That's nice and clear, that white tissue. Yeah. Can you see that, um, that's? Yeah.
Let's have a good uh, job of separation on it. Just have all the toys for me. And that's the distance of retraction. Yep. Now there's a little bit here, so we're going to release that little bit there. And then you can see the release here. So there's no more prominence there now. So the prominence along the central band visualized prior to surgery is not only the plantar fascia itself, as it's probably only half a millimeter to a millimeter thick, but also the tightness of the skin due to its attachment to the plantar fascia via vertical fibers, and also the support it gives to the flexor digitorum brevis muscle lying underneath it.